Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I'm having a little bit of an issue with my garage door opener here. Uh, let me show you what the symptoms are. Let me turn the camera around. So, um, you'll see actually, well, <laughs> yeah, here, the garage door, it's halfway open, halfway shut. And uh, the problem is we came in the other day and I tried to open the garage door. So let me just turn it on. And look at this, you can hear it's, it's on but it's not doing anything. It's not going up or down. The trolley's not moving. In fact, the reason it got stuck here is it was halfway opening and then it started going chunk, 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 back and forth. And then it started doing this. So let's go look up here. I'll show you. You can hear that this thing is moving, but obviously this sprocket is not turning. So something is wrong with this. So um, we're gonna have to take some next steps. So let me stop it. And uh, let's go ahead and see what could potentially be causing this. I have a suspicion. So let's take this guy apart and uh, open it up and we'll take a closer look. All right, to so get this cover off, I think there's just about eight of these screws. So two on this face, two on this face, two on the far face, two on the other face. So I pretty much already got these all loosened. So they're just finger tight. So I've taken all of them out. That's the last one. And now, yeah, look at that. This whole thing just pops right off. Aha. And I think we can see the problem right here. All right, so let me see if we can get a better look at this. So uh, yeah, this is the problem. So this gear here, if you notice, this thing is just totally munched and worn down. So this nylon gear, in fact, you can see a lot of the pieces of the shavings. Uh, if you look here, look, here's the, here's the cap. See, this is all part of the gear, <laughs> right? Over the years, and uh, I mean, I think this garage door opener is 20, 25 years old. I mean, I've had to repair it multiple times for other issues. I have some other dedicated videos on that if you're interested. Let me come over to the other side just to show you. Yeah, you can even see, yep, here, here's more just sh shavings, right, of the gear. So the gear has just been munched down. So I think what's going on, in fact, we can test this right now. Let's get the garage door opener. Um, I'm gonna activate it and we're gonna see, I think this gear is gonna have no problem moving and spinning, but I think because that the gear that it engages with, all the teeth have just gone, it's just, it's just not gonna go. So let's, let's, let's hit this. Yeah, look at that. See, that guy is spinning, no problem, but we're just getting no action. So, let's stop it. Oop, one more. Yeah. Uh, that's the issue, that's the culprit. So let's see if we can extract that gear. We're gonna have to take this whole assembly apart, I believe, to kind of get to that gear and that sprocket, but uh, that's probably our next step. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, is let's go ahead and unplug this just for safety. And then let's come down here and we are gonna disconnect uh, the trolley uh, from the garage door. So just go ahead and pull this and then get this out of the way. There we go. And I can actually just pull this down manually. Let me step on this to kind of push the garage door down. Okay, great. So now the trolley is disconnected from, uh, or sorry, the trolley here is disconnected from the garage door. Okay, great. Um, all right, now, okay, so now let's lock this trolley in place so it doesn't move. So I'm just gonna get a vice grip and uh, kind of clamp on one side of it and clamp Take a second pair and clamp it on the other side. Okay, so now this trolley can't move and now we can start thinking about trying to disconnect the uh, chain. So we're actually gonna have to loosen some of the tension on this first. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we want to loosen this nut here so that this entire bolt slides back and loosens and basically relieves some of the tension on this chain. So we're gonna leave this nut, the one that's closer to the chain in the same spot because we're gonna want to eventually come back and return this bolt to the same position. So what we wanna do is only loosen this nut on this side, right? The one that's farther away from the chain. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves two crescent wrenches to kind of stabilize this and then only loosen the nut. Okay, so that bolts out a little bit, uh, it's loosened. You can see the chain is a little bit slack now. So coming back to the unit, we'll come here, we will go ahead and just pop off this plastic cover. And now the chain should be able to just kind of come right off of the sprocket. There we go. Okay, we'll just leave it right there. And uh, we'll come down, we need to now remove these three screws. One, two, three. Okay, and those are only accessible from down here. So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna grab a 5 16 and see if we can get these out. 
All right, so two of these, this one and this one, are actually uh, somewhat accessible. So like I said, just grab your 5 sixteenths and let's see if we can unscrew it. There's one. All right, there's two. And then the third one is uh, unfortunately blocked by a lot of this, so we're gonna have to just go get a wrench and see if we can unscrew it. So let me move the camera. Yeah, this last one kind of sucks. It's right in here, so you gotta get yourself a wrench, and this is gonna take me a while to work out. So let me just do that, and I'll spare you the details. All right, so we're getting there. So now we need to come down here to the bottom of the assembly. There's this little three-prong clip right here, which is actually pretty easy to just peel the outer prongs out and then push it and then yeah this whole thing just kind of comes out and then this bottom worm gear should just come right out okay okay with all this out now this entire assembly should be able to just lift straight out so I think you just kind of come up here see if we can just kind of pick this thing straight up and there it is uh, it's getting a little hook up on the wires and then we just got to make it yep pop out through this hole aha okay here we are so here's the part yeah you can totally see those teeth are munched and you can even see as I turn this thing around there's, yeah this is just not great okay so let's go get a replacement part all right so here it is here's the replacement part this thing was just nine dollars I'll leave a link to where I got this um, but uh, here, as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty much the same gear, 32 teeth. Um, so all we're gonna have to do now is remove the worn out gear. So you can see there's two sets of pins here. These pins are just pressed in. So there's one here on the bottom and one here on the top. We're only gonna have to remove this bottom one so this entire gear will slide off the shaft and then we can replace it with the new one. So let's go over here and see if we can get a uh, punch set or something equivalent to push this pin out. Okay, so to knock this pin out, uh, it's a little bit tricky, but I would definitely recommend getting a, uh, a pinch punch uh, or a pin punch, a roll pin punch. This is something, right? It's just a little bit of a uh, piece of metal, but it's got a little bit of a dimple. I don't know if you can see that at the tip, right? But it's got a little dimple at the tip that will hopefully keep this punch centered. So um, I'm just gonna support this here on this four by four, just so I can start trying to knock this pin out a little. So, set it right up there, and then let's get our punch. Just give it a couple whacks. Yeah, it's, it's slowly coming out. Uh, all right, so give me a little bit more time. I'm gonna see if I can knock this out. All right, so I got the pin out, and actually, maybe I'll just show you. In case you're interested, a, uh, a 3 sixteenths inch pin punch seem to fit exactly perfectly through this so okay now that we got that roll pin out now this one should just come right off yep well maybe not right off but it will come off there we go okay so here is the old munched gear so now let's just go ahead pull out the new gear and see if this is going to slide on it should Yeah, and I don't believe there's a top or a bottom because I think it's universal, so. Okay, there we go. All right, that looks a lot better. Okay, now it's a matter of pressing the pin back in. So let me just go ahead and see if I can get it started and then tap it back in and then maybe uh, I might see if I can press it all the way in. Okay, give me a second. All right, so I think it's just a little bit of the reverse process. So I'm gonna get the roll pin kind of lined up, get my punch, just kind of tap it in. Yeah, that's going. It's just going to take me a little bit while, a little while longer to get this in. All right, so there you go. That pin is back in. And uh, now it's just a matter of reassembling. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll skip filming that because you saw how we disassembled it. So now we just need to reassemble everything. And uh, we'll be back in just a second. All right, here we are. I think we're back in business. Everything's reassembled here. Um, I've gone ahead and removed the clamps from the trolley. Um, I've also gone ahead and uh, put the bolt back on, retentioned the chain. Everything is hooked up over here. 
I also, um, <laughs> I hung a skill saw down on the, uh, the latch here just so that when the trolley goes forward, it won't actually engage and try to move the door right now. I just want to see if this is actually going to operate correctly. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll put this last little bit on top. It's just this little chain protector guy. Okay, chill chain guide. Okay, so great. I think we're in business. So tell you what, let's actually come to the other side and we can see this all in action. And actually, I'll come over here, the ladder. Okay, let's give this a whirl. Aha! There, it's all moving. You can see the trolley's going down. Yep, that looked good. Okay, now let's hit it again, see if it comes back. Okay, good, that should open the garage door. We're good. We might have to mess with the limits a little bit, but this is looking halfway reasonable. Nice, nice. Okay, yep, I think it hit these limits uh, on the bottom. Okay, so we might mess with these a little bit, but tell you what, let's re-engage this now. So I'll take this saw off and then I'll run the trolley all the way back until it engages in the garage door and we'll see if this actually is gonna work. Okay, so I've just manually pulled the garage door open and uh, got it to re-engage with the trolley. So let's see, let's give it a try now. Aha, uh -huh. look at that. Garage door is shutting, trolley is sliding. Let's see how the limits do. Hopefully it's gonna work. That looks awesome. Okay, let's see if it opens. There we go. That is looking great. It's, and it's actually sounding a lot better <laughs> as well, surprisingly. So it looks like this is fixing a lot of things. Okay, um, let's do one last thing. All right, so the last thing that we're going to do is let's add a little bit of grease to the gears just to make this a little easier for future operations. So I'm just going to smear a bunch in here and uh, turn this a little bit and we'll be back. All right, so there you see it. It's just a couple of dollars to replace this worn gear and we're back in business. So this was overall a much easier job than I anticipated. You saw it just took a little bit of work to disassemble it, punch out that pin, replace this gear and we're we're here now that being said um you can actually buy the entire assembly which has a brand new shaft with the new gear on uh already mounted so that might save you a little bit of time if you don't have a punch pin set to knock out that uh roll pin but otherwise like i said this was pretty easy um i hope this was helpful to you and uh if so i also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel it really does help me but let's just give it one more try to just demonstrate that this works. Yeah, there we go, back in business. All right, I think I'll talk to you later, bye.